Hi Leo, welcome to your What They Aren't Telling You reading for May 2020. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. This typically is a romantic love reading, but it's anything goes at this point. Um, it's going to be, it's intended to be an all-encompassing or like a general reading at this point. So very well may be romantic, but it could also be a family member, friend, work situation. Um, if it is about a person, this could be yours or theirs, moon rising or Venus sign. All right, Leo, what they aren't telling you. Move my little spray bottle over. My, my little guy's coming in here, wanting to climb up on the furniture again. Got those claws. <laughs> All right, Leo, what they aren't telling you. May 2020. So that's the high priestess. Can you see that? Yeah, okay, five of wands. Four of Cups, Nine of Cups, yay, Six, no, Seven of Pen, no, yeah, Seven of Pentacles. Isn't that Seven of Pentacles? Yes. Knight of Wands, there's Leo. Strength card, that could also be Leo. Page of Cups, okay. All right. And the Six of Wands. Is that? Yeah, that's not seven. Okay. Okay. Little guys. There we go. All right. Hmm. Is this someone waiting for you to make the first move? I don't think there's any animosity here. Is this someone waiting for you to reach out to them, romantic or otherwise? Are, you, are they waiting on you? What's this five of wands here? What's this five of wands? Empress, so that could be Taurus or Aries. What's this four of cups here? What's this four of cups for Leo? <laughs> two of cups okay what's this seven of wands here you'd think that's eight but it's seven no it's eight i knew it because i was like eh. there's eight right there this is five that's eight eight of wands okay good because <laughs> i was like that looks like the worker card all right what's this eight of pentacles here eight of pentacles not wands. eight of pentacles so it's eight of pentacles here Knight of Cups. Yeah, that's Knight of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> What's this strength card? Wow, Leo, you've got somebody that wants things to pick back up. Once this is all over, they're really hoping they still have a shot here. What's this strength card? So this could be somebody you just met or a friend, like just that are, is kind of wanting to maybe take things um, if this is your job, it's like, okay, your job's here when this is all over. Like, we really want you, um, we still want you here with the company or still want your, you know, employeeship type situation. Um, they, the only reason this isn't happening is because they, they feel like they can't do, they shouldn't and they can't right now for whatever reason. So if this is employer or a romantic interest, it's, they're not doing it because, or they're not, um, there's something about them feeling like they need to wait for you though. Even if they, even without COVID, this is someone waiting on your call. Like it's gonna, they're leaving it in your court. There's a lot of interest here. Um, and there might be, they might be very busy, but it seems like that's kind of, um, I can't tell if they're telling you that because um, they want to, they want to let you off the hook because they think you're busy or if they're just wanting to buy themselves some time, but there's something, it's, it's someone saying, using an excuse, but really it's because they, they're kind of, they're not, is it that they're not ready yet? Is that what this is? They're not ready yet. Is that what this is? This is somebody not ready yet. So Geddon or not, this is someone that's not ready yet. And it looks like it's a friendship. 
and you, there's an incredible connection here. So I, this is a romantic love reading. Spoiler alert, Leo, <laughs> this is romantic. This is somebody that, um, that I think you two are friends and you get along great and there's kind of a little magic and mystery there and they're feeling it and you're feeling it. And so this is somebody that's like gonna just, um, they're really busy and they're working and if things weren't happening the way they were, they pursue you, but actually they're kind of scared and they need a little bit more time before they're getting over something. What's this page of cups here? What's this page of cups? Uh huh. They okay. So this is somebody that um, <laughs> they're not going anywhere. They, it feels like they want you to let them know it's okay, or they made their interest known and they're waiting for you to pick up the next step, like for you to take it from there. This is someone that is begging off on work and obviously shelter in place. Um, but they're wanting things to pick up when this is all over, but they're wanting you to initiate. What's this nine of cups? What's this nine of, whoopsie, nine of cups for Leo. <laughs> so we've got that fell out. Eight of swords reversed fell out and the six of pentacles. Well, if that's not a go for it. I don't know what is. All right, so this is, you get to be the one to um, make this happen if you want it to happen. I don't think this person's gonna wait for very long before they can't help themselves and they move towards something and, uh, or initiate something. This is a positive thing. This is something that you're inviting also. This is for the Leos that are would be happy about this. This is not some creeper, you know, that just can't get over you and just, no, you two are on the same page here. They're a little timid. They don't want you to see them as fearful though. So they're kind of ducking behind the whole Rona Geddon thing to say they need more time and Ugh, so busy working. And, you know, I just, I, I, you know, you and I, but let's just continue to talk this way or get to know each other this way. Um, they're actually, I think they might want to be slowing things down a little bit just because they're not quite ready yet. For whatever reason, they're not hiding anything. They're just, it, it just feels like it might be happening too quickly for them. I don't think they were expecting to feel so in sync with you. And this could be a friend, you know, because everybody's falling down a rabbit hole, a nostalgic rabbit hole during um, this time. And so it could be somebody that reached out to you online. It could be a friend of a friend that you two just started casually talking online and then things really have taken off. But this feels like a friendship that is, has the potential to blossom into more. Um, and they're, they're, uh, they're kind of, I think they're maybe afraid to lose the friendship over this because even though the feelings are mutual um, and they're they're hoping that you'll take the next step um, that you're and this is yeah you're <laughs> do it <laughs> you do it <laughs> and for the Leos I'm reading for you plan to like you're you're okay with this also what else for Leo here? There's not much to, there's no doom and gloom here. This is a, this is a pretty positive reading here. There's no doom and gloom. Leo. We got the moon. So this is, you could be dealing with a healthcare worker. You could be a healthcare worker. Um, this is somebody that might be pretty afraid of what's on the other side of this. Once you get through Rona Geddon, um, what's that going to look like? Because it's almost to the point where it's progressed farther than just friends. Like it's kind of gone into that territory where you both know. Like you both know. And so you can't go back to what you once were without it being weird. Like, oh, was that just a Rona thing? You know? Um, so it, it, this could be, you could be dealing with a healthcare worker. But it, I think it speaks to the connection that you two kind of feel and kind of like, well, should we? Should we da, da. But there again that's also them being like oh gosh have we crossed the line now what like what's going to happen there i don't know what's going to happen in the future period or the future with this person that we're not just friends anymore something has happened we're not just friends so it could be something got started before and you're kind of wondering what's going to happen but this is they feel the same way about you they don't um i don't think they want you to know that because I don't think they want to burden you, like especially if you're busier than they are, they're trying to just make it sound like you two are on the same footing and everything's good and they don't want to make it weird or they're just, they're re really worried about how they're coming across to you. So um, I think that's why they're really hoping that you'll give them the go ahead or the green light or you'll even take the initiative and just be like, yep, 
I want to be where you are. What are you doing when this is all over? <laughs> all right. Oh, this could be Pisces or Cancerian, by the way. This could be Pisces or Cancerian. What else for Leo? What else for Leo? Leo. It says Terra. So that's all about being um, grounded. That's basically needing to take care of the practical things, needing to do what is best for each other in your own respective situations. So this is kind of being put on hold. There's a lot of mystery here, a lot of waiting, a lot of unknown, but you're much more okay with it than they are. I, I, I think they just are like not wanting you to know that they're like, oh my gosh, because they're into it. They're just, they want you to take the next, take things to the next level. Or initiate, I should say. What else for it? Yeah, because the Nine of Cups, this is about making the taking the next step and you're not afraid. Perhaps you not being afraid would be mean they're not afraid. Because they're they're res they're pulled back in reserve. They're like in a receptive or like kind of a timid position, it feels like. So perhaps they're waiting on you to reach out or make the first move. Because they're, yeah, like they're, they're begging off on work and saying, well, you know, we're just gonna, I'm just, just really kind of taking care of myself right now. And, but they're, you're not far from their thoughts. What else do we do? Leo. And you two, like, do you work together? Is this someone you work together? Is that why? Is that what it is? You work together. This isn't a, a, a online thing. This is maybe you work together. Hmm. That's pretty real. Leo. Five of Swords reversed, and okay, is that the Star card river? I gotta draw my dot again because it keeps getting rubbed off in the back. I think that's, I think it's right there. Okay, Star. Oh, I cast it. Oh no, that's that's upright. Well, geez, that never happens. Nice. Okay, so that's the Star upright, and the Five of Swords reversed. So not too shabby. <laughs> I think this is about realizing that there's an element of um, things needing to calm down, to settle down, to do what's best for each other in your respective environments. And it's it's like the, when all of this is over, um, this is about being open to taking this to the next level, being open to seeing what is beyond this experience, like what you're, what, what's beyond Rona, basically, Rona getting. So um, yeah, this is, I, I, for the Leos I'm reading for, this is a good thing. This isn't something to be like, oh, this is, this is not an X. This is, this is a mutually agreed upon thing. So yay, you Leo. Um, the good ones are always short. <laughs> I was going to, um, I have a few others here, but they're for kind of like if it's not going so well, but I don't want to pull those out because this is quite positive. And we've got someone that's just a bit timid. That's all and really want to focus on self-care and work right now. It's like you two can't really start anything in the midst of this. Um, but they're really hoping you come through afterwards. So, all right. I hope this was helpful, Leo. This this feels like it was a romantic reading, but it, I mean, it obviously it could be a family member, or, you know, or work wanting you to come back after all this is over, but okay. I hope this was helpful and I hope to see you in the next reading. Much love and support to you. You take care.